All right, so this is gonna be a video about finding the derivative of tan x. Now to do this, what I'm gonna do is actually use quotient rule. So I'm gonna turn this tan x into sine x over cosine x. So I'm gonna do the derivative of sine x over cosine x. And then I'm gonna use quotient rule to solve this. I'm gonna use the sine x as f and the cosine x as my g. So my f is equal to sine x, which means my f prime is equal to cosine x. My g is going to be cosine x, which means my g prime is going to be negative sine x. All right, so sine x, the derivative is cosine x. Cosine x, the derivative is negative sine x. And then from here, I'm going to use the from here, I'm going to use the quotient rule formula, and it's g f prime. So you're going to end up with cosine squared x minus f g prime, which is going to be negative sine squared x. And we're going to divide this all by g squared, which is cosine squared x. Now this minus minus just becomes a plus. Plus cosine squared x plus sine squared x is actually equal to 1 if you remember from your trig properties. And we're dividing this by cosine squared x. So I'm gonna put that in right there. And this simplifies, one over cosine is secant. So this is really just gonna be secant squared x for your final answer. So that's how to find the derivative of tan x using quotient rule. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.